Want some ideas for something different, tasty, and healthy for dinner? Check out the Food Corner for videos and downloadable recipes at newstarextra.com forward slash food. We, uh, we serve a number of communities from Shawnee through uh, a fiber optic network. Uh, through this facility here, we serve oh, about 9,000 customers. You know, I think I have really mixed emotions about it. Um, uh, from one perspective, uh, uh, the people in our communities that uh, uh, are not on some source of being able to get their programming through, that they're on antennas, that have been unable to get coupons, you know, I have a lot of sympathy for them because, you know, because our government makes a decision for them to go dark, uh, it, it's just not a good thing. It's not a good thing in any community. Um, I, I balance that with we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, many hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment. Uh, we've had thousands and thousands of hours of employee time to get that equipment up and ready. Uh, television stations that, that you know our broadcast partners have done the same thing uh, working towards a date we've communicated with all of our cities um, all of our customers uh, about something happening and then to not have that happen um, and you know kind of start everything all over again uh, is equally troubling I think what we get is a lot of questions a, a lot of confusion um, you know it's a hard thing to put ourselves in that role because we're so video knowledgeable that, you know we know what this is all about we've been talking about it for years we know what's got to happen uh, but I look at my own mother uh, and, and she sees an ad on television and then sees some stuff in the newspaper and, and calls frantically and says oh what am I going to do my television's all going to go dark and and what's that mean and, and you know a lot of that takes individual one-on-one -on -one, uh, explanation we're really happy to do that with our customers, uh, but 65,000 customers each one at a time, you know, it, it's a near impossible task. Um, uh, so, uh, again, it, it's much more questions, confusions than complaints, um, and people are getting through it. I mean, I do think there's a great job been done by cable, by the broadcasters, uh, and actually by the FCC of getting the word out there. Um, uh, I think the awareness now is, I believe I, the last I saw it was 89% awareness uh, of the date and what had to happen. I, I think that the opposition in general has been we are forcing something on the American public that is costing them um, a lot of dollars uh, and may disrupt their service uh, and that the benefit is not readily apparent to everyone. So, I mean, I think if, if I was the opposition, that, that's the, the position I'd be taking, that government should not be uh, stepping in and um, making something happen, that it should be much more free enterprise making that happen uh, versus government in intervention. Okay. And there are good parts. There, there are good parts of a digital transition, right? The digital spectrum is so much more efficient, and, and the, the benefit we get out of the public airwaves that, that you and I pay for in our taxes, right? I mean, the, the, the broadcasters are given that spectrum free. Um, uh, they use uh, spectrum, and the more spectrum that can be available to be utilized for all of us you know, in the long run, that means more kind of over-the-air wireless applications can develop, grow, and, and provide services to us. So, um, I, you know, in the end, a digital transition is great. A, a digital picture is far superior uh, to an analog picture. Uh, uh, in, in areas of the world where it is only digital, it, it is quite a difference. You can see that difference even today, you know, if you look at a side-by-side -side digital television picture and an analog picture, the difference there. We see it historically over bandwidth for internet applications as, as uh, digital transportation really became uh, the main mode of transport even close to the home. You know, we get incredible bandwidth that we can use at our home that, that are great for our students for internet access and the availability of information. So, so there are great parts of this. It's just, it's going to be a painful process no matter when we do it. And someday that trigger has to be pulled. 
Yeah, at the end of the day today, I will just tell you my perspective is let's get done with it because we've already put all this work into it. Um, uh, whether this is a political pitch today to get more funding into the program, to print more coupons, you know, there's a piece of me that says that is purely a political uh, play on getting uh, additional funding in for the coupon program. Uh, but, again, I balance that very, very carefully with people in our communities that may have their television sets go dark. Uh, 